Hi guys, a lot of you have been asking me about what is the correct approach to solve the MCQs for the first time when you're trying to give a competitive examination. Well, I understand uh, from the feedback from a lot of students, the common mistakes that are happening when solving these MCQs and ultimately you end up wasting a lot of time uh, behind these MCQs and does not fetch the correct kind of a result. Well, I'll be discussing that today and telling you the correct methods of solving the MCQs for the first time and also for the second and third time of your revision. So uh, continue watching the video till the end so if you want to get some value based uh, exam strategies. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Noor Saira, an endodontist and a part-time YouTuber. If you're new to my channel, go ahead, subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a video. But let us first understand the wrong way of solving the MCQs for the first time when you're preparing for the competitive examination. So a lot of people uh, tend to have this habit or tend to have or follow this advice which is solve your first attempt of mcqs in a way that you are giving your examination to see how much knowledge you have first basically that you uh, solve the question don't see the answer and you write the answer somewhere else in some other sheet and then you go back and evaluate how much you know so this is like you're trying to test yourself uh, on how much you understand the topic even without studying it it's a very good uh, concept of doing that but there's one major problem uh, with this is that this is not how the mind works when you are trying to take advantage of your mind for a competitive examination. So what I'm trying to tell you here is, for example, I answer a question and the concept is a little difficult. I answer that question and I answer the question wrong. Okay. But that answer will get registered in your mind. Whether irrespective of whether you want to understand that concept or not in that way, it gets registered in your mind because you've already understood that concept in that way. That's why you're answering it that way. Right? So when you have attempted an answer in a way, an answer will get stuck in your mind. And the next time you're trying to answer it, the wrong answer only will flash in your mind because you've understood and reinforced that concept in that way. So, well, I very strongly believe in this that when you are feeding your information for the first time in your mind, please remember that you feed the correct and the right information because the first time when you learn a concept, it gets stuck in your mind, it gets understood in that way and it gets reinforced in that way. So the next time, uh, in case you are wrong the first time, the next time when you go back and read the same MCQs, you will be wrong again because the same understood concept is going to get applied and unless and until you do not spend three or four revisions correcting that answer then the answer does not get corrected in your mind and ultimately you will end up doing the same mistake and i am telling you this after my experiences of uh, you know doing these mistakes in in the preparation of the competitive exams that i have given my experience by doing this approach has been really bad because I realized that the first time when I went wrong with an answer and I have gone back and corrected it but when the second time I tried to answer like in the second revision I tried to answer that question I went wrong again and the third time also I went wrong again so it took me four revisions to rectify that concept in my mind to get that answer right in the first attempt, get the understanding right in the first attempt. So I don't think that attempting the first attempt of understanding and learning these MCQs, attempting them as an examination is a good idea because I strongly believe and I've strongly experienced that uh, in the first attempt of your reading, it is important that you feed the right information in your mind because that right information is what's going to get memorized or reinforced in your mind. So in your first reading, take good amount of time to solve the MCQs, rem learn them, understand them, answer them, check the answer right then and there. If it is wrong, learn the concept then and there. So quality is always winning over the quantity. 
because you have to learn approximately 20 subjects when talking about an MDS entrance examination. So I'm sure similar amount of quantity of, ex uh, of material is there for other examinations as well. So it's important that whatever you're rem remembering and learning that has to be at least quality, or quality oriented because that's what will make the difference in the ultimately in the end of the day. So first attempt, always make sure that you are reinforcing the right information in your mind. And when you're going wrong with that question, you encircle that question by saying, OK, I found this question difficult. So the next time I'm going to revise this again. And the other concepts which you go right with confidently, you can leave them and not mark them because you know, OK, I know this concept. Somewhere it will be there in your mind that you have understood this concept. So it's important that the first attempt you clarify then and there. Probably from the second attempt and all words, you can use it as an exam scenario for your like a mock exam scenario where you're trying to see how much you remember and then you evaluate. Well, another common mistakes when uh, students do is when they're reading MCQ for the first time is they tend to mark the answer on the MCQ question answer itself. Don't do that, you know, because uh, the next time when you're trying to answer that question, you're just passively looking through the answer. So, and you, you're not putting your mind into an active recall technique, you're not putting your mind into a thought process technique. So, you probably will go wrong in the exam, you know, not be able to apply or use the uh, knowledge in the exam because you're not able to use the knowledge here in the revision and you do not know whether you'll go wrong or right. So, it's important to test yourself in the second and the third revisions to see what, what how much you remember for the first reading that you have done. So, do not mark the answers. Just see the answers because anyways, it's either given behind or just below on the page. So just see there and do not mark these answers. Encircle the questions which are going difficult, you know, which are going wrong on so that you can revise it again and again. So three important tips that uh, I would like to share when an answering the MCQs for the first time is that please do not attempt them as if you're giving the exam in the first reading itself because in my experience it has been really really bad for me uh, because it took me three or four revisions to rectify the answers which went wrong so if you do not know an answer try to attempt it and but go and cross check the answer then and there rather than you know having an entire pile up of answers waiting for you to go back and correct also do not mark the answers on the mcq book you know just leave it blank so that next time also you're, you're applying your mind and brain to remember and recollect the answer so that you know that you have understood the concept right or wrong and the same mistake does not happen in the examination also mark the difficult questions so that you know where you're going wrong so that you can come back and revise these questions again and again so i hope you found this video helpful and uh, if this did bring value to your life please leave a comment in the comment section and uh, if any more uh, you know clarifications or any advice is required from my side you can always message me on my instagram page or leave a question in the comment also uh, well thank you for watching the video and have a good day and all the best for your exams for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you